Uh, that was our workout, strength and agility. So I chose our chat topic today being agile. So what agility means is the ability to efficiently move your body in different planes of motion. Um, you know, it's usually associated with sports and activities. I mean, there's a couple different components of agility, like speedness, reaction time, um, and oh, I forget the other one I was going to say to you. Speed, reaction time, and something else. <laughs> balance, balance. So when you're moving on one leg, um, balance is a big part of agility. So um, again, it's mostly associated with with athletes because of all the things like when you're playing tennis, you got to react to the ball. But it's also good for people in regular life who are non-athletes because the balance aspect of it, like if you're walking on a street and the, the, the sidewalk changes, the level changes, just to be able to get up onto that different level requires some balance, which you can achieve through agility training. And then also reaction time, you know, if someone's coming at your way, a car, and you're walking on the street, you know, it's good if you're able to move out of that way, out of the way quick, because you don't want to get hit. So agility training, add it into your routine, even if you're not an athlete, but especially if you are and you're training for some kind of sports specific training, you definitely want to put in your agility training. And again, you know, even if you're not an athlete, do it, because it'll help you someday. I promise. All right, that's all I got time for today, you guys. Love you.